think I'm lying. Uh, I'll just wait for people to come in. Yo, <clears throat> it still says zero watching, so I don't know how many people are here. Uh, sorry for those of you that are watching the pre-recorded. I will begin in a second. Okay, I'm just going to start anyway. Um, okay, so I, this is the fourth part of uh, a live stream thing I've done where I'm making a game. Uh, I'm live streaming a game I'm making. It's been a while since I did the last live stream. Um, the game has come a huge way since since back then in those days. Um, I thought I'd just live stream because I'm going to make a level. I'm just I've just started making uh, one of the one of the final levels actually. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll I'll just run the game just to show you how it's like different because um, it's a lot different. I'm kind of streaming at a bad time because most of my audience is from America and it's like 7am and it's a weekday so either people will be going to work or going to school so most people won't be here. Anyway, this is my game, Groupia. Um, uh, let's, do, let's do this level. Okay, so oh, and there's a, ignore that too by the character. So this is what the game looks like. It looks a lot nicer. Um, um, you you have to collect the the orb things, but it, the objective has sort of changed because once you've collected the orb things, you have to return to your spawn point, which is that elevator, to progress. And uh, and you've got hats now as well. Um, yeah, there, there's hats. They um, there's actually like I've actually put a bit of a, a story into this game now. There's like a bit of narrative to it. Um, and there's something to do with the hat, so I won't I won't explain that because I don't want to spoil it. Not that there's a lot to spoil anyway, but I'll just leave that out. Let's just focus on the gameplay. So yeah, you rotate and oh, damn it. So yeah, you rotate. You've got this little thing now that limits how many times you rotate, but obviously it regenerates, so you can't just go crazy like rotating round and round and round. So if you keep rotating, it'll be like, nope, you can't go anymore until it reloads. Which is cool. I think it has some, some dynamics to the game. And there you go, the elevator opened because I collected all the orbs. Garupia. And there you go, so that's sort of the basic. Oh, and I love these things. I've added these like little saw things. <laughs> yeah, I think that's really cool. It's my favourite like, thing at the moment. Um, yeah. So. So yeah, that's the that's the game currently, um, and I'm gonna just live stream me making one of the levels. Is this the one? No, not that one. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna live stream making a level. This is a very open level. Uh, it's one of the final levels. Um, as you can see, there's lots here. I really like the sort of levels where it's open and there's no boundaries, so you can literally fall out of the level either way. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm making. There's only two of them in the game at the moment, not including this one. So I wanted to make another level that's sort of open. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, make the level now. Uh, let's have a look at the chat here. Hey guys. Uh, Bungles, cool man. Good to see you. Um, good to see everybody else. Um, yeah. So right, yeah. So I'm working on this level. Um, I sort of started making a symmetrical sort of thing. So all of this bit here is symmetrical, and then on the outside, there's just loads of bit of flo floating random islands. So I'm just trying to trying to think here. Um, 
So I've made these two sides symmetrical, so they've got like moving saws on each side. This one um, is a no-go. This is a new type of spike that I call a proximity spike. So um, it's uh, well, actually, I'll, let me just show you real quick. Let's run the level. Um, the things in the way. Ah. Uh, why? There we go. Uh, let me just run run the game again. Uh, and it's all the way over here. This one. Right. So, oh, Could oh, because <laughs> there's no none of those orbs. The level instantly completed itself. Uh, oops. So let me just put one there. Otherwise, the level will think it's done. Uh, I'll keep going all the way to the level every time. Right, so these spikes at the bottom, as you can see, they're, they're barely visible, but you, you go near them and they'll be like, huh! So essentially, they're just the same as normal spikes. You, go, you touch them and you die no matter what, but these ones... They um, obviously uh, they don't appear to you get near them. So if you're careless, you can miss that they're there and you know die. So um, I thought that was cool, and especially when there's loads of the foliage everywhere. Like obviously, as you can see, I've prettied up the game. It's got a sort of um, abandoned nature sort of feel. So if you've got all this moss and grass and stuff in the way, it's hard to see them at times. And in the later levels, I, I put, I've put a lot of that in, uh, which I probably will do there. I'll try and disguise them, even though they're, they're actually quite close to the, the spawn point. So when you start the game, they are actually out like that. So you, if you're careful, you'll see them. So it probably wouldn't make sense to cover them up. Um, anyway, but I'll do that anyway. So, yeah. Just make this bigger again. Just get rid of that orb. Right, I'm just trying to think. So I'm just trying. I'm firstly putting in all the sort of traps. I don't put moving boxes in open levels like this because they'll they'll just fall out. Um, but maybe I will. I don't know. So let's put some spikes, more spikes down. So these are these are permanent spikes, so you can see them and they don't move or anything like that. Um, I might put them on the bottom of the starting thing actually. Just put, um, and because obviously there's a lot going on here in spikes, I'm gonna put some orbs around these little platforms here that are like one block in size, so it'll be quite difficult to get to. Well, not to start, because you could literally probably fall off and then go on to one of them, but then you'd have to. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> let's, let's start by putting some more of these orb things down. So, if I just put one there like that, so it's like you jump down there, you can put one there, so you'd fly past those and one there and then one there maybe um, or even if I do it the other way around so you can't do it from the start of the level so jump down there you'd have to start you have to do it from a different point like a different um, rotation um, so if I do it this way yeah so then you could do that then so you could rotate and jump and land Ooh land on that platform and then you're like that would work I think it's kind of cool actually as well um, so let's just put one on there I don't like to put too many orbs in the levels even though this this one's quite a large scale level um, put one there let's just place them down so I can put one there put one there one there and one there because we've got two saws here so they'll go back and forth so one will come this way one will come that way and they'll cross between each other which I haven't actually done yet in a level that's the first time they'll do that um, 
I'll put one there, one there, and there'll be some maybe time spikes, so they'll come in and out, so you have to time it right, you have to get in there. Basically, it's a very tricky level, because it's level 12, and there's, there's going to be 15 levels, I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure. I have planned 15 levels, but if I decide later on it's too less, I might do more. But, yeah, 15 sounds good to me. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with these big block things here, what am I going to put on those? Um, I'll put them on this side, so if I just put one there, and then one there. Um, so I'm just going to do these uh, spike things now, so the time spikes put two of them there so they they're on a time and they go in and out of retraction um, so you can get to those points but you have to obviously do it when they're not sticking out um, Sorry for the pauses, I'm just trying to, I'm thinking deeply. I don't like to rush things, especially stuff like this. Levels have to have a lot of thought put into them. There's got to be method in the madness. I was trying to think with those big block ones, what... Um, I might put some proximity spikes. On each side here, so one there and then there as well. So when you're on this platform, you can't directly jump to those because I don't want that because that's too easy. But you could jump and then land on this bit. Maybe this could be the safe point. Um, yeah, and actually, I'm gonna <coughs> on the bottom. I'm gonna put these as well. So you have to. Um, just thinking whether to put spikes here as well and then you, you can only access this from this part of the surface so you'd have to jump from here or when you're here you'd have to jump from there yeah, I might do that. It's one of the final levels as well. It's got to be tricky. If you make it to this point in the game, then you you know it's a tricky game. <laughs> so there's no holding your hand at this point. Um, okay. And I, but just for the sake of... No, I'll move it down. Because it's not symmetrical just there. So I like things to sort of be symmetrical. So I'll either put two or I'll move that to the center. So I'm just going to modify the grid so it will... There we go. So it's in the center then. So I don't, because obviously this is going to be quite a big area. I'm going to have to put a lot of orbs everywhere. So I don't want to double the orbs up because then I could just put one there. Because when you're, when you're on that point, when you're on where that is anyway, it doesn't matter how many are there because you'll collect them anyway. So I may as well just put one. Like two are here because there's, there's two points of... I don't even know how that's going to work actually. I, I'm quite interested to... I might test the level in a second and see how easy it is to with these two things moving because I've never had a level that does that uh, let's test the level now let's do it let's have a look and then the final step of the level is putting all the pretty stuff in making it look um, aesthetically pleasing so if anyone's wondering this game um, I'm planning to release it on Steam um, I don't know when it will be a game, it won't be free, you'll have to buy it, but it will be very cheap. It's just a very cheap indie game. Uh, it's like three, four dollars, something like that. Right, okay. Oh. <laughs> ah! And also, if you, if you fall for a certain amount of time, your hat falls off. I think that's a really cool little thing. Ah, damn it. I've been really terrible. Oh, there we go, I did it. So what I really need to do um, is put... Um, 
put one in the middle, put one on the end, and then we'll use a third one. So it's literally you've got to cover all of the basis of this area. And these two spiky things moving around is not going to be fun. Um, okay. I might... Yeah, I could do that. So from this point here, these... Um, oh, I'm just wondering. Can people actually see my mouse? Is my mouse visible in this... Oh, it is. Yeah, that's good. Because I'm, I'm using the mouse to show where things are. Otherwise, you won't know what I'm talking about. So I want this part. You can only access these two from, from this point. So you can't land here and go around. I want this to be like this, basically, like this block here with the spikes and all the all the angles. Um, and what I might do, I might just experiment with... Because blades move. They always move. But I'm thinking... If I put barrier blocks, um, there's not really any way for me to. Yeah. If I put barrier blocks um, on each side, they probably just won't move. So then they'll act like they're supposed to, but they won't move, which which will be good. Now, obviously, this middle bit here needs to be deadly. The thing about spikes is, um, wrong way. that looks deadly there, but you can actually land on the, the side of it, because obviously it's not going to attack you if you're at that angle, because the spikes are at this point. So what I might do, if I just, if I put a proximity spike there, it, there's less chance that you'll land on it then. Yeah, because it'll pop out and kill you. So if I just put that there, like so. Oh, and um, I need to put these barriers in, otherwise those things will just fly away. I'm just curious, actually. I want to see how that works. Let me just boot up the game again. What's the big blue with the question mark for? That's a good question. Uh, that's That little um, question mark blue thing in the level, that's actually a... Um, like a script, like it's an object that contains scripts and stuff like that, and so obviously that's invisible in the game, but that's to show me where I've placed it in the level. It, it doesn't matter where you put it in the level, but um, it's just there. It has to has to be in the level. The way I've written the game is that piece of code has to be in the level. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna try this thing. I'll just... There we go. That was cool. So, huh, huh, huh. that works really well, I think. And you can do your whole thing without you running out of. Um... Uh... Oh, so they are actually. Oh, they are moving. That's okay, then. They can move. Ah, see, look, you can see them moving, but they're not moving off the. I'm fine with that. That's absolutely fine. Um, because they're still going to get you either way. That's cool, that, actually. I might try and experiment with that in all levels. Oh, see, look. I landed on that point. That's a no-no. You're not supposed to be able to rest from this. Oh. The second I moved, I died there. <laughs> so I can pull that off again. Okay. I think it's the... Um... <laughs> I don't know if that's it. That sound effect. Um, I got a drill and just... Um, you just rev the drill once. It goes... <laughs> It sounds like a saw blade, doesn't it, when it goes... When it goes, uh... It's really cool. Um, so, this block here, you can't get to it without unless you go around, which is cool. We've got time spikes here, so you've got to pick your time correctly. I really should get rid of that two that's, like, by the player. So yeah, I'm happy with the way this... There you go. So that's how you would get to that point, I think. Um, let me just get rid of that two that's going over the player there. That's pretty annoying. Uh, I can't even remember what it was for to test something. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't need that code anymore. Sweet. Um, right, okay. So I need to deal with this. The 
there's something I could do, but it sort of breaks what I do with the game. But I could try it. Um, uh, so I can rotate it so it's at an angle where it's pointing out. But it sort of breaks the way I'm doing the game, really. I don't do it like that. It still wouldn't work. She'd be able to land on the side of the thing. Um, hmm. I could put another saw there. However, you land on the saw, you you die straight away. But then in my head, it's not symmetrical because it's like you got two things there and then one at this angle. Ugh. But that that would work though. That would accomplish what I want. I think the blue ball should regen your stamina. You know, I actually. That's a very good comment there, because I actually thought of doing that. Um, I thought that would be a really cool way to do it, because then it would just give the the blue the orbs more of uh, a mechanic. Uh, but I thought it might actually be too easy. I make the game too easy. Um, but I actually haven't tried it yet. Actually, I haven't experimented with it, so um, I may give it a go. Um, but I'm but the way the game is working at the moment, with it having to regenerate at its own pace, the game the game flow is working really well. So I'm inclined to leave it as it is, but I may, because I haven't tried it, I may experiment. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now. Let's experiment now. Although I don't think I'm going to go with it. Let's, let's do that now, actually. Let's make the, uh, make the orbs regenerate your stamina. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just see what it's like, anyway. Um... Okay, so I can copy that actually, change that to four and put that to one. That should work. I mean it definitely could work with with the game flow. I don't think there'd be any issue with it. But I just think it might make it a bit too easy. So there you go, say so like so it looks cool. Let's get to a game where you're really uh, level where you're really So like you're rotating a lot, it's like whoa. It could work. It's something that I'd need to play the game a lot with it with it working. Let's see if it's worth doing. leave it like that for now actually but we'll see <clears throat> oh yeah so that will fix that um, right so this platform here I will put spikes on each side of the platform this makes it so oh, my grid's gone wrong. This makes it so it's harder to rotate round to get on top of it because the spikes in the way. I mean, you could do it if you give it a wide berth, but then there's these spikes here, and it's a bit. Although, if you're on this platform here, it could be just easier to go round there and just go up to there. But it just adds a little bit more of um, a pain for the player. Um, okay, and I think I'm going to leave these with no sort of spikes or anything on them. These little four things. So let's focus with this space up here because I seem to have, and then we got down here. But let's just add some bits up here. Um, so let me just put some orbs down. Uh, where would I want to put? there maybe I could put one there if I'm doing a lot of this I oh, have to go around stuff hard to get sort of stuff but let's just throw the player a bone and put one here so it's 
on this axis you can get to it easily but then there's one round here so it really doesn't matter <laughs> um. could try so I put like a proximity spike there, but not there. So you would literally have to be so careful, like you'd have to land there and drop into there. Otherwise this would get you. That'd be a cool little challenge. So like I've, I, I like to make these levels hard, but I don't want to make them impossibly hard. Where they, they are doable, but you need like luck and timing and you... You know, I I could do that. That could be this type of game. People do do that, but um, I it's I think it's just cheap, really. Um, so it will be difficult, but it's there's there's a logic to how you can do it. But I don't like to make a level in a certain way where you have to follow a certain route. I like it so. To all the game testers I've used so far. They seem to play the levels differently to how I do, and that's fantastic because then it gives me the feedback that people can play the level in any way they want. They can complete it in any way they want, and I don't want to take that away from the player. Um, oh, one thing I haven't done, I haven't put any corner blocks in, these little wedge blocks. Um, let me do that now. They're good because it makes it look more aesthetically pleasing, but also it's easy for the player to slide off them, which is cool. And a level like this is perfect. So you could just fall off and die. <laughs> um, put that there, maybe. Um, I'm thinking maybe. Get rid of that one and put that one there. So it's like you can't land on this side of it and then jump round. Otherwise, you, you'll just well, you can, but you'll slide off to there, and then you have to sort of rethink about it. So I might do it on that end as well, actually. Uh, not like that. Uh, there you go, like that. So you'll slide off either way. Cool. I'm just gonna have a little test. Actually, I'm just gonna see how how difficult the level is. See if I can complete it at its current stage. See what that's like, maybe. Um. Okay, so let's go. So obviously I know I can do this. Oops. And the best way to play this game is definitely with an Xbox controller. I've got like two different s s control schemes if you want to play with mouse and keyboard. Well, not mouse, not mouse, uh, just keyboard. Um, damn it. But the controller is definitely the best way. And I've programmed like a sensitivity into the joystick. So you, if you move the joystick slightly, you move slightly. And it just makes it more precise. Oh, if you use the keyboard, it just moves fast straight away. It's harder to be sort of precise. If you want to be precise. Uh, anyway. So we can complete this level. Um, so what I used to do before I had this sort of stamina thing, you could just like fly off in a direction and just rotate loads of times and then decide to land. So it's like a safety blanket thing. But when you've got a limited amount, you can do that. So you need to decide what you're going to do. Oh, damn it. So that's going to be tough right there. So you could, in a way... Oh. oh, that's what you could do. So, so if you, you could stay there, they're not going to get you. And you could just jump over. But you have to keep jumping. Ah, oh, moving obstacles. That's one thing this game was lacking until I put those in moving obstacles. Because the, the spikes just, they don't move. Like moving obstacles, it gives you like a reason to jump, other than to reach the platforms you need to reach. Oh my gosh, that's really hard. Damn it. Ah. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. 
It's just... Oh, no! Damn it. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, you die a lot in this game. But what is good is you you learn from your mistakes. Um, so, like, if you're just being careless and going... Duh, 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 um, you probably will die. So it makes you sort of slow down and sort of think about logically how you're going to do things. Um, oh, damn it. So what I'd usually do is I'd fall down to that block there and go to the block on the left, but I can. Ah! So it's quite challenging, and especially because you've got to do all these obstacles. You've got to do all these obstacles and collect them, and collect everything all in one go. Ah, <sighs> cool. Uh, so yeah, I didn't complete that level. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so I'm, I'm actually probably going to end the live stream here actually because it's I'm got I've gone over my lunch time and I really want to eat something. I'm starving. Um, so I'm going to end the sort of video here. Um, I don't know if I'll do another live stream, but I just sort of wanted to do another because also this is like a cool thing of the making of of the game i could sort of take snippets of these live streams and put them in a video to make a sort of making of uh if the game you know maybe gets popular on steam i don't i don't think it will um it's it's a fun game i think personally um but i think it's just like a small fish in a very large pond um so i don't i think if i released this game 10 years ago i think it would have been a real big hit but just because the amount of indie games that are out there right now and the, the mechanic of being able to sort of rotate the, the gravity or the level is, you know, it has been done before, so it's not something that's new. Um, so if you're, if you're doing something in the game industry that isn't new and it's been done before, you need to do it really well and better than the last person that did it. And then that's the only way people will like the, the game or, you know, the game will get success. But anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, thank you so much for watching the live stream. Um, if you haven't seen the previous ones, check them out. Especially the first one, because it's the game in the very first stages. I've only been working on the game like a day or so, and it looks so different to... Actually, I'll see if I can just grab a video... Actually, no, I'll, I'll do it on the live stream now. I'll just show you guys. Um, let me just find it on my video manager. One second. I'll just show you how different it was. Actually, no, I think I've got... Uh, no, I've actually got a video... I, I sort of every day, like I, I record a video of the game in its current state. Um, so I've got loads of videos in different stages of the game. Okay, here we go. This is the one of the earliest videos I've got of the game. This was like two days in production. So it looks entirely different. The base mechanics are, are there already. So you've got the rotating gravity blocks kill you. The full the full uh, damage thing was a lot more sensitive back then, so you you die a lot quicker. But it's basically the same game already. That but it's just I've added loads of stuff to it. <laughs> Pat says that it was named Quark, right? How do you know these things, Pat? Like I don't understand, like how you would know that. I think I I think I named a test video Quark once. That was the only. Th thing I did so I think you must have got it from that that was an experimental name I did think of um, but it was just because I wanted to name the video something but obviously I didn't go with it I went with Garupia but anyway yeah so that's the that's what it was like and let's, let's find another video actually um, so this was like a week or so got some graphics going I was really happy with it but I'll, it looks very like bland because there's no all the blocks are the same, and there's no like little aesthetics. And I, I, I put, I put in the game um, like all of that, like the vines and stuff, and all that stuff, because you can't actually tell in, the, in this current build. You can't tell like what angle you're at. You, am I upside down? Am I sideways? Because everything is symmetrical. The boxes are symmetrical. Everything. It's so hard to know. So I wanted to put something in the game where you could sort of tell: Are you upside down? Are you on the walls? Um, what's this one? It's that was originally the first level. We are. Used to, used to do that. Where's the one where I put the music in? 
So this is now the menu music, but this was originally just the whole music. So this is where I started putting stuff in to make it look pretty cool. And you got today's, how it looks today, the ambient music, and this is an older build actually, it hasn't got the, uh, the stamina wheel. I put that in yesterday actually, the stamina thing. Anyway, I'm going to go, I want my lunch. Thanks for watching guys. Um, does it still do groupier when you win? It does actually, it does do the groupier thing, um, but it's different now. Um, and I'm actually thinking of removing it entirely. Let me just show you the la that latest video again. And I'll show you what it does. Oh wait, no, this is before the elevators. Actually, this is when. Uh, hold on. Oh, I've got to boot up the game again now. I'll show you. It does say groupier, um, but it's it's sort of like more like relaxed because I wanted because. With the ambient music going, doo -doo -doo, when it goes groupier, it just doesn't make any sense. So if I if I just cheat here and um, oh look, I got all the orbs, hooray! You complete the level. Groupier. It's like a more relaxed groupier. But I might actually just remove it entirely now. Um, uh, and let me just cheat again. Oh, I got all the orbs, hooray! Groupia. But yeah, so in the game now you have to get the orbs and then come back to this position. So that's like a cool new thing. Anyway, yeah, that's what it does. I might remove it entirely so it doesn't do that. Because I, as I'm, I'm adding a story narrative to it now. And some things aren't making sense because I'm doing that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, cool. I'm going to go for my lunch. Thanks, guys, for watching this live stream. It's been awesome. Uh, go check the previous live streams if you want to see the, the game and me working on it at different points. And see you later. Bye.